Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So we have a super busy weekend ahead of us. We finally got furniture for Ev's room. So that means our weekend is going to be like building furniture and organizing her own, like her whole space, her own whole room. Um, we have a ton of yard work that needs to get done. So like, it's just like a jam packed weekend. So as far as today's video goes, it's Thursday for me and I have childcare for Luca. So I really just want to give the house a good once over and roll into the weekend with a clean house and just try our best to not be overwhelmed. <laughs> So for today's video, I want to tackle the kitchen, the living dining room, and our bedroom, and laundry, of course. That's never ending. That's always on my to-do list. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into it. I'm going to make some coffee and myself a smoothie first. I haven't eaten anything and I'm starving. So I'm going to make those things first and then let's jump into it. I'm going to start in my kitchen. So if you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Jessa. I primarily do cleaning motivation on this channel. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Please consider subscribing if you're new. I would love to have you part of my little YouTube family. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it so I know that you like it. And let's start the kitchen. Intuition, just wanna follow intuition. All my senses tell me I know what you've been thinking. I know. I've been feeling, what if we got up, left this party? Cause I can see you probably gonna be scrolling feeds all night long. Your friends are drunk, and the DJ keeps playing the same songs, and time isn't moving along. So would it be cool to say it? Do you wanna escape without ending the night? We could drive through all of the city lights Or we could find a two-star place Just you and I, that'd be nice oh. Do you want to escape with me? Oh, 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 oh. Do you In your chubby lips Giving me a hint at an early exit Can't believe got a pinch of cheek To know this is a fantasy Right, right Skip the chit chat Cause that shit cheap Doesn't matter either way Cause I can hear a thing Wanna get some air to breathe Cause I can see you're falling asleep Your friends are drunk And the DJ keeps playing the same songs And time isn't moving along So what it be
Hey guys, Editing Jessica is here to take you through the end of this video. I apologize if my voice is kind of yucky and a little nasally. I have been dealing with a pretty bad cold for um, the last week. I'm definitely on the mend, but it hit myself and little man pretty hard. If you have kids, you know that they absolutely love to share, and mom is always the one that gets it. <laughs> So after my dishes are done here, I actually forgot, I thought it was a little bit later in the day that I had scheduled it, but I actually got a grocery delivery from Whole Foods. Um, it is honestly such a simple pleasure of life. Like truly every time I schedule a grocery delivery, I think about how fortunate and lucky I am to have access to this. Grocery shopping and just meal planning in general is something that I really need to shift my focus on and really get better. Over the past few months, I have become very lax with it, and it's at the point now where it's starting to really affect us financially because there's just a lot of food, a lot of food waste, um, a lot of takeout, and it's really just not a sustainable like method that we have going here. So I really need to get into a little bit more of a rhythm um, in terms of grocery shopping and in terms like consistent grocery shopping and in terms of uh, meal planning for the week and getting lunches prepped and all that good stuff. One of my favorite Instagram accounts ever um, is Nicole from Begin at Home. I absolutely love Nicole. She is so relatable and like it really just feels like a friend, if that makes sense. And there aren't many times where I go on social media and I am feeling better <laughs> when I versus like when I leave. I almost always kind of feel worse when I leave social media, to be honest. But Nicole's page is just wonderful. And I always feel better after I check in on her and watch her stories and stuff like that. She has absolutely no idea that I'm talking about her in my video. Um, but it's Nicole at Begin at Home, um, all one word. That's her Instagram handle. 
Uh, I don't know if she's doing it anymore just because she might be in a little bit of a different season of life. But years ago when I started following her, which I think was in like 2018 or 2019, she started Full Fridge Friday, which um, I immediately was drawn to and I think it's the best thing ever. So Full Fridge Friday is stocking the house and doing your grocery shopping before the weekend versus after. A lot of people do their grocery shopping like Sunday or Monday. And, um, I honestly try to do my grocery shopping before. So full fridge Friday is just that, is that you do your grocery shopping before the weekend and you have, um, just a little bit of hand, better handle on the groceries <laughs> rolling into the weekend. So for us personally, that has always been our weakness. And when I talked about earlier, just, I need to get into some better routines, that's a big one for us is I need to start grocery shopping before the weekends because the weekend hits, everybody's very relaxed, everybody's chilled out, nobody wants to cook, there's no food in the house, nothing is prepped, and uh, normally that just turns into like eating a lot of unhealthy fast food and a lot of takeout. So I really want to get back into the habit of full fridge Friday. Uh, it really does make a difference. I am on a health journey as well. I'm on a fat loss journey and the weekends are honestly my downfall. I will do great during the week and then, like I said, the weekend hits and it's just kind of chaos, to be honest. <laughs> So I want to take some time every week, either on a Thursday or a Friday, and get some meals prepped. Just It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but I do want to be mindful about going into the weekend and really being you know, really thinking about, okay, what are we going to have for breakfast? What are we going to have for lunch? What are we going to have for dinner? And just making sure that we have some good food rolling into the weekend. So that is my little spiel on grocery shopping. Uh, we're going to transition. Um, now I am cleaning in uh, my living room, getting that kind of reset. We'll move on into the dining room. I'm going to be folding some laundry, and then we'll move on into the bedroom. So, so, so sad. Since I lost you, I've been Think you saw me with your friends last night. Such a tragic, rather painful sight. So embarrassing. Soaring back to my heart, holding hands with the night. Hopelessly hoping you'd call. If we think about it, we think too much. Maybe we should talk about it, should be enough. But we'll never be enough for us if we not give up. Just wanna love 
All right, guys, so this cleaning motivation video is coming to an end. Uh, the bedroom is on my list, like, big time. I'm sure you can see how dusty it is. <laughs> Honestly, my bedroom needs a good cleaning, and it is definitely on my list. My closet, I can't even really open my closet anymore. It's so jam-packed and so disorganized. So who knows when I'll get to it, but it is, like, it is definitely, like, top of my list and, like, definitely a top priority for me. Um, but that is another video for another day. <laughs> In this video, I'm just going to be fluffing the bed and making it nice and pretty again um, and getting the laundry out of here and just kind of resetting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it motivated you and inspired you to get some things done today so you can roll into the weekend with a clean house and not be overwhelmed and spend your weekend doing things that you enjoy and relaxing rather than cleaning. <laughs> I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I will see you in my next video.